Today we're going to learn about counting solid tablet medications as well as pouring liquid medications. Now to count these solid medications you will need to use a spatula as well as a pill counting tray. It seems like a simple task but I've seen technicians look very foolish on their first few days of being in a pharmacy. Speaking of looking foolish, whenever I first was asked to pour a liquid medication into a liquid prescription bottle, I asked the pharmacist for a funnel. You don't need a funnel to pour this into this. It made me look foolish and actually for the rest of that summer I was known by that pharmacist as Funnel Boy. So let's make sure you don't have a clever nickname such as Funnel Boy and whenever you get through with this lecture. So we'll start here with something rather simple. Let's just count out 30 aspirin. If you're called to do that, you'll use the counting tray and you'll just be able to pour what you think's about 30 tablets right there. From this point, you can count by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Now you have 30 here in this compartment and you have some left over here. Luckily there is a little opening right here at this point and you can just pour those right into your stock bottle. Go ahead and close your stock bottle up and with this right here you'll notice there are some markings right here. It's tough to see them on camera but there are some markings on the edge of this counting tray. If you'll put your capsules up you can see that it comes here to about four or four and a half to five. If you will double the number that's on this counting tray, that will give you the idea of the bottle size you need. It's known as drams, and that was about five, so if I doubled that, that will get me to ten. This is a thirteen dram uh, prescription bottle, so I want the smallest prescription bottle possible, and this will be fine. So I will just get this. I will pour it into the bottle. Notice my hands never touched a tablet the entire time. We are able to stay sanitary. I can close it up and there we have, voila, we have a 30 count bottle of aspirin poured from the stock bottle into here. Make sure you never touch the tablets with your bare hands and count by fives. Many people will try to count by threes or fours. I really recommend counting by fives just because that is uh, somewhat pharmacy standard. So right here you can see I have just a stock bottle here uh, and a prescription bottle that's empty and this one is four ounces. Uh, we'll learn how many milliliters that is later on in the course. But all I'm going to do is just take the lid off. I'm going to take the lid off of this and I'm going to pour in. Let's say I'm going to try to pour in for these four ounces. I'll just pour in the top right there nice and slow. No need for a funnel and I'll let it go all the way to the top until there's a line right there at the top that demarks four ounces. Now that I'm close to the top, I'll just go nice and slow until I get there. And voila, just like that, I have a four ounce bottle. You wanna make sure with liquids that you close the cap as quickly as possible so that you don't do something like, oh God, you spill everything. You don't want that to happen. So you'll want to keep everything closed as quickly as possible and that way you'll be able to dispense the bottle and uh, you'll never have to do any big cleanup. At some point in your pharmacy career you'll mess that up and you will have to clean it up and no one looks forward to that day.